Merci pour l'invitation. It's a great pleasure for me to speak here about Louis Michel, about our collaboration, and especially about influence of Louis Michel and idea of my scientific research even after Louis passed away. Louis contributed to different branches of physics. The unified idea can be formulated as look for symmetry effects and discover of generic phenomena which are produced or caused by very general symmetries or even particular symmetries. I want to make a remark on general idea or general point of view of Louis Michel on natural science. And I want to sign uh, the uh, Galileo Galilei citation. The great book of the universe stays open before our eyes, but to understand it, we have first to learn the language in which it is written, the mathematics. This citation we proposed to include in avant propos of big special volume, Symmetry Invariant Topology, which was prepared and for publication. The manuscript was prepared by two publication by Louis, Louis Mem, J. Samkin, Joshua Zak, and myself at the end and submitted to the physics reports at the end of 99, just before the sudden death of Louis Michel. I also want to mention that my first personal contact with Louis Michel was due to my search for mathematical language needed to describe simple phenomena observed in the spectra of small molecules. It was in 88. I work at the time in chemistry department of Moscow State University. I, my subject of interest was molecular spectroscopy of small symmetrical molecules. I was invited for three months to Dijon University and I went to the laboratory which was specialized in molecular spectroscopy of spherical tops. And I wanted to profit my staying in France to contact French scientists whose names were known to me. And I know Louis Michel by his publication where he used very important notions related with symmetry, such as generating function, integrity basis, group images, stratification, and so on. In particular, the notion of critical orbits, which was very useful in my analysis of small molecular systems. And I want to show today some simple molecular examples on which I want to demonstrate how the Louis ideas can be useful to represent simple features. Here is just an example of energy momentum or joint spectrum of two <coughs> integrals of quantum system for rotation vibrational structure of simple five atomic molecules. The qualitative feature here, which are clearly seen, in my opinion, are the op to use the pointer. Oh. Well, in any case, you see probably the presence of energy band and the arrangement of energy levels between these energy bands. Another feature is formation of quasi-degenerate uh, group of levels. This, for example, oh, thank you. This is six-fold quasi-degenerate, eight-fold quasi-degenerate, or even in more com complicated picture by the same type of molecules, presence of 12-fold quasi-degenerate energy levels. And this qualitative feature, like 
bands, their, their arrangement, rules for redistribution of energy level between bands, formation of cluster structure, and modification of this cluster structure under variation of J in this case, and the control parameter is more genius, remain my preferable subject till now. The rotational cluster structure is very simple to understand by studying effective rotational Hamiltonian for which the in classical limit, the classical phase space is two-dimensional sphere. Action of cubic symmetry group, which is symmetry group of cited example, produce special critical orbits, which are stationary points due to symmetry action. And for example, for cubic symmetry group, we have three critical orbits. One is with C4 local symmetry formed by six point, another with C3 local symmetry formed by eight equivalent points belonging to the same orbit, and C2 which form two, 12 points. And from the point of view of simplest Morse function, only critical orbits are stationary points. This is the simplest rotation of Hamiltonian, which has stable points on C4 and C3 orbits and stable on C2 orbits. For higher order approximation of rotation of Hamiltonian, we can see formation of stationary points on C2 also orbits which correspond to formation of 12 degenerate, quasi-degenerate clusters. This is a representation of the space of orbits in terms of invariant polynomials forming integrity basis, which is used on this picture. More generally, for arbitrary symmetry of molecules, we can find the description of modification of the cluster structure by bifurcations of stationary classical points which has different local symmetry. There are not very many different local symmetry groups for classical phase space S2 with <coughs> group action related with the symmetry of molecule. This complete list of bifurcations and this is theory of real molecular examples for which we see this kind of modification of the band structure or of the cluster structure. General idea of qualitative approach is to study a family of models depending on the number of control parameters and to find characteristic which are defined for almost all values of control parameters and are piecewise constant. This allows to split the space of control parameters into disjoint region by codimension one boundary. And this qualitative modification under control parameter variation can be interpreted as a particular case of much more general mathematical concept of wall crossing. To describe molecular system for which we see this time of this type of <coughs> qualitative modification, we can use so-called semi-quantum model. In this model, we consider molecules as formed by slow subsystem, which, can, which is considered as classical subspace, and fast variables, which comes, we consider as quantum. The classical phase space form the base of the fiber bundle. The Hamiltonian is a matrix symbol defined of the classical phase space. The eigenvectors of Hamiltonians are fibers of vector bundles. And the topological invariant of complex bundles are chair numbers. Dimension of matrix Hamiltonians is the number of bands. Bands are isolated 
if there are no degeneracy point of eigenvalues, bundle formed by eigenvectors of semi-quantum Hamiltonians are characterized by topological invariant, and degeneracy points are responsible for modification of the band structure under the set of uh, and the set of topological invariant. If we return back to this example, we can interpret it in the style of semi-quantum description as molecule formed by slow subspace, which is rotation of one degree of freedom system, which form the classical phase space S2, and five, in this case, quantum states. The eigenvector, semi-quantum eigenvector of this matrix has semi-quantum Hamiltonian, correspond to different bands. They are essentially isolated by form the generacy point. And this allows to split the region of different J value into sub-region where the topological invariant for eigenbundle, eigenbundles are constant and they change under crossing this degeneracy point. And we see here that <coughs> modification of the Chern numbers coincide with the number of energy level redistributed between the energy bands. But this, was, it, this example was too complicated. We can suggest much more simple example with just one degeneracy point. This is example of coupling between orbital and spin operator in the presence of magnetic field. Spin considered as a fast, as a fast subsystem and angular momentum is a slow and is fixed. We have again two dimension of phase space, two eigenvalues semi-quantum eigenvalues form an intersection point, isolated intersection point, which correspond to conical intersection of these semi-quantum eigenvalues. And just at this value of control parameter, one energy level go from one band to another band. The situation is quite simple for S equal one half. For higher S value, we have more complicated rearrangement. But the picture becomes really simple in the complete classical limit. If we consider both N and S as classical, this is the same Hamiltonian, but now classical. And we have integrable system, which for some region of parameter values has isolated focus focus point which correspond to the singular fiber of this classical vibration, integrable vibration, so-called pinch torus. On the corresponding joint spectrum of two observables, commuting observables, which are integrals of motion in this case, we see the manifestation of so-called quantum monodromy if we go the evolution of the elementary cell of this lattice of quantum states along the singular fiber. We can remind here the Louis Michel work on description of defect of regular lattices. And using the cutting and gluing construction, we can suggest the defect which correspond exactly to elementary monodromy defect. The matrix in this OOP, in this the chosen basis, correspond to evolution which show the modification which correspond to quantum monodromy coinciding with classical monodromy, classical Hamiltonian monodromy for this integrable system. Interesting is the effect of addition of finite symmetry. This is an example of initial splitting of hydrogen atom in presence of electric and magnetic field. 
the classical integrable model in this case has more complicated singular fiber, which is double pinch torus. If we look at this picture of quantum joint spectrum, we see clearly that in this case the quantum monodromy has two here, which coincide with the number of these pinch points. Further reflection about construction of another type of defects for regular lattices allows to construct so-called one-half lattice defect, which corresponds to so-called fractional monodromy, quantum monodromy. And in the classical limit, this situation corresponds to real example of classical resonant system, which the line of singular fibers, which in classical case is a curled tori. Now I can to compare with topological effect in bent rearrangement with topological effect in solid state physics. To do that, I will slightly modify the Hamiltonian, elementary Hamiltonian, by looking at the variation of control parameter from minus infinity to plus infinity, which correspond to the crossover of two bands. This crossover occurs with going through two conical intersection points, with two degeneracy points. And in this case, each degeneracy point corresponds to formation of generic degeneracy point for problem which depends on two-dimensional of two-dimensional phase space, one degree of freedom, and control parameter, because the co-dimension of degeneracy of emission matrix is three. So this is sphere surrounding these isolated points. We can look at the topological invariant of corresponding fiber bundles of this sphere, and this is exactly the modification of the shear number of four bands under crossing this degeneracy point. If we extend further this, the same Hamiltonian, but looking at it as depending on two control parameters, we have the plane of control parameters, and this plane is split in four regions, four isochern region separated by these walls. Crossing each wall corresponding to rearrangement of one energy level between two bands, and with modification of the chair number for these bands by plus minus one. And this phase diagram, if you want to pause the phase diagram, reproduce completely and coincide with the central part of this well-known phase diagram suggested by Haldane and shown here on graphical illustration taken from a recent review paper by Pierre Delplace. Next step is to generalize to more complicated Hamiltonian. In solid state, this is so-called A2 class in molecular terminology. This is description of two quasi-degenerate fast Kramer's doublets. And this model Hamiltonian, fast part of this Hamiltonian can be written in terms of quaternion or from the point of view of chemist more simpler to use explicit representation of quaternion in terms of Pavoli matrix and to write this uh, hyper matrix at four by four 
matrix. Codimensional degeneracy in this case is five. So there are no generic degeneracy point for semi-quantum semi Hamiltonian with four dimensional phase space. But if we add one control parameter, we obtain typical situation with formation of degeneracy point. The phenomenon is typical, but now due to double degeneracy of fast eigenvalues, the topological invariant are second chern class. The picture remains exactly the same, except that now the classical phase space is four-dimensional, and we surround the singularity or the <coughs> degeneracy by sphere in four-dimensional space, and the topological invariant with change is second chern class. To suggest concrete physical example, we can consider spin equal three half for fast subsystem, and for slow subsystem we need two degree of freedom, and we can take two angular momentum forming classical phase space S2 cross S2. The simplest Hamiltonian corresponding to crossover of two superbands shows the presence of four degeneracy point. At which one energy levels go from one superband to another, and at which the second chern number changes by plus minus one. And it is quite interesting, in my opinion, to compare this analysis with non-formal analogy between real complex and quaternionic theory, as was suggested by Arnold. In his paper published in 2000, he leave question mark in the cell corresponding to quaternionic example of physical theories. But I allow myself to give this comparison with band redistribution in molecular system, description of symmetric over real hermitian or complex and hyperhermitian over quaternion with co-dimension of degeneracy respective two, three, and five. And just to, to finish, I want to say that to give, to, to give more simple example of quaternionic model with one degeneracy point, it is possible to construct Hamiltonian, which can be named as quaternionic Dirac oscillator, which was introduced in our recent paper, and here is just the number of references figure from this paper, which are important for the whole construction of different model, depending on formal or unreal parameter, classical, semi-quantum, and complete classical states for this set of models. And I think that I succeeded in some way to show you that important Louis ideas about using symmetry and appearance of topological effects is very important in such simple system as finite particle quantum system like molecules. Thank you. Other questions? Can, can we go to your first plot where you had this molecule with J on the horizontal uh, axis and energy on the vertical axis? Yeah, this one, that, okay. Before, before that. Even before, yeah, this one. 
so, so can you given all the theory that you explained so can, can you explain what uh, which features here you managed to explain with group theory this is the band yeah. this is another band which at low j values include these levels or group of levels but here for higher j this group of levels be, be, belong to the band which is clearly seen here. This is another band. And you can see here the number of levels in the band. And normally, if you have isolated rotation of band, the number of levels is 2j plus 1. Here you see that it's 2j minus 3, minus 1, plus 1, plus 9, minus 1. And the qualitative feature is just explain from the point of view of this band structure why we have different number of level in the band and what are the rules for redistribution of energy level between band and the variation of this control parameter. Okay, it's 2g plus 1 if you have rotation invariance, but here you said this molecule is not rotation invariant, it has cubic symmetry. So the number of we have 2 to j plus 1 square, but this is projection on the laboratory axis, which we neglect. Okay. And this is internal projection only. Okay. This is in laboratory molecular fixed system of axis. Sasha has a question. Okay. Let's thank Boris again.